All right, guys. So on my IG, I got requests to do this video. It's gonna be on how to make a custom fuse and relay panel. First things first, you need to buy your supplies. Switches, there's a lot of different types of switches you can buy. I brought a, a rocker switches, eight of these on the panel. There's a lot out there. So find one that suits you and your car and the kind of setup you want and then purchase that. You're gonna need a fuse block or a fuse strip. This is a fuse strip and I previously used a fuse block, power distribution block. This is the kind I used for the previous setup. There's six pins on each side. This is the one I'm gonna be using for this setup. It's 12, so it's a lot bigger. You're gonna need relays, however many you wanna buy. You're gonna need a sheet. I got a steel sheet. I ran to Home Depot and picked this up. It was only 10.98. If you wanna strap your ECU to your fuse and relay panel, you don't have to. I might, I'm not too sure. Once you have all your supplies, you draw up a sketch. Kind of plan out how you want to set everything up. Just do a couple sketches. Write out what each relay is going to be used for, what each fuse is going to be used for. That way it's just easier to set everything up. A major, major tip. Do not build your fuse and relay panel around your car's wiring, okay? You want to build your car's wiring around your fuse and relay panel. All right, so after a lot of planning, I've done a design that's completely different. So basically I dropped a relay, headlight, taillight, ECU, ECU, fuel pump, fan, and fan. And then use that to mark your holes. So now I'm gonna do all four and then I'll show you what it looks like. So now I'm gonna drill these through and then mount it. This strip is on. We're gonna go ahead and mark everything. Drill our holes and install our relays, bro. So the first thing we gotta do is run these red wires to the fuse strip. I've done about half, a little over half. I've wired up four relays, I have three more left. Oh, y'all can't, oh, y'all can't see that. Y'all can't see that. Y'all can't see that. I just came for this. All right, got our heat gun. We gotta solder this one, this one. And what we did actually is increase this from, this is a 14 gauge wire. It's upsized to a 12 gauge wire. Soldered those three wires to extend them. I'm calling it a night. I'm real tired, my speaker's dead. I gotta wake up early, but we got a lot of work done. Got these in. A neat little thing I did, I labeled all my relays. And I also labeled all the fuses. So basically this arrow shows you that 12 is to the left. So you start down here, one is not labeled yet, but we have two, three, four, five, six. Six is the first relay, so the first relay has a six on it and it's also labeled ECU. Chasing wires this way is not the best way to go. So that's why I have everything nice and labeled. It's the next day and you can see I took off a lot of stuff. We ran into a little problem. <laughs> I was trying to do some heat shrink while this was connected, which is a bad idea. So we're gonna replace this one right now, mount it up. We're gonna crimp everything, remove them, and then heat shrink afterwards. Everything we had to crimp is on. The only thing we gotta do now is put everything up, heat shrink this, these are our negatives, we don't need that right now. And we have to figure out how we're gonna lay everything out. That's why I have it disconnected. So you can see how I decided to run the wires. See, I got my powers going under everything into the relays, and then I have it to the load and from the switch, and it goes in a pattern. There's certain ones, like the fans have two relays with one switch, and the tail light and headlight are two relays with one switch that will be lights. So you can see I have load, switch, load, switch, load, two switches, load, load, switch, load, two switches, load. Basically, you're gonna have power coming in here and that's gonna to distribute to this side of the fuse. It's gonna travel through the fuse and come out on this side. All of these wires go to each one of these relays. So power is constantly being fed to the relays and once power comes in here and then grounds out, it'll close the switch in the relay, which allows power to go from here to the fuses through the relay to here and then you connect your load to here and it goes out to your load. All our grounds are gonna be coming in right here. And then this is gonna to go to a chassis ground. So this wasn't really a tutorial. 
It was more so of kind of a walkthrough just to show you how I did my fuse and relay panel. So you guys can get an idea of how you want to do your fuse and relay panel. All right, so this took a total of about a day and a half or half a day. I uh, started yesterday at 4 p.m. I'm finishing today at 3 p.m. This is not really a hard job. This could be done very quick. Um, as long as you plan everything out and you have everything you need, you'll be able to get it done. Any theories or a concept of a fusion relay panel that you want to try or any questions, if it be chassis harness wiring or, or engine harness wiring or anything you want to ask me, just drop a comment down below. If you guys don't know how or what something does here and I didn't explain it well, let me know. If you guys did understand everything and this was helpful and you guys liked the video, go ahead and drop a like. And if you want to see more videos in the future, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. If you guys haven't already, go check out my previous wiring harness, which I used that fuse box for, so you guys can get a good comparison of the difference between this fuse and relay panel and that one. That's an easier one to do. This is somewhat harder. I'm gonna be adding more, of course, but I'm not gonna put that in this video because I don't want this to be too confusing. And this is tailored to my car and my setup, so it'd be different for someone else. That's about it, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Do not forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like it up if you found this video helpful. That's it. Deuces. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. <laughs>